There we are. What's up, guys? Hey. It's Ryan. And Angela. From RNA Music. Yeah. Your favorite mom pop guitar shop deep in Hard Texas. Tejas. Let's see how loud this is. It's not going to be that loud. Oh, it's not going to be that loud. It's not going to be that loud. All right. Well, there we are. Um, what, what's today? Today's November 2nd. <laughs> it's November 2nd. Saturday. We're gonna do this Ask R and Anything live. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. excited. Hi guys. Hi. Ray. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna answer all the Ask R and A questions from last week's Ask R and A. We've got the yes. Barat mm -hmm. So we're gonna answer those, and then we are going to answer live questions if there are any. And that's gonna be it. It's okay. been a crazy week. <sighs> hasn't yes, it, it has. Normally we shoot these on um, Thursday night. Right. And it is Saturday night. Yes, it is. Saturday night. Yes. It's been crazy. Right. Yes. We, we were going to shoot this on uh, Halloween. We were. This would have been the Halloween edition. It, yeah. Because <laughs> we, first of all, worked at First Monday. I did. Which is our, you know, monthly flea market here in town. And... I was on my feet for eight hours, not sitting down, maybe for like 15, total of 30 minutes the whole day. And um, so I was just really tired, walking back and forth, helping a lot of people, bending over, you know, just a lot of, in a clothing department, basically. So, but rush, rush. We, I mean, we saw. So she worked nonstop. Hundreds and hundreds of people came through there. I mean, it was crazy packed in the whole place. So when I came home, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so tired. Toast. And then it was Halloween, and so yeah. our, our kids wanted to go help out with some trunk or treats. And yeah, and did stuff, that. So. Nicholas was up here. It was crazy. It was a crazy Thursday, so we didn't film Ask R&A. It was yeah. a crazy Friday. It's been a crazy Saturday. But we're here now. We're going to answer y'all's questions yes. live. Hi, tired Sonic Grace. Mm -hmm. We're super tired. Yes. Hey, guys. But uh, we're going to answer your question. All right, first question, Tracy Johnson. Two-part questions for you both. Angela, do you have a preference on microphones when you sing and have you and Ryan entertain starting a band? Mm. Ryan, do you feel as long as the neck feels great, does it matter what shape or brand? Also, what was your worst, I guess, worst guitar? Mm -hmm. Mine, I have to say, was a Fender Duo Sonic and Gibson Sonics guitars. Mm. <laughs> All right, so Tracy wants to know... Uh, <laughs> Tone Bolt said, Good day from the land of Pat. Hello, Tone Bolt. <laughs> We're going to acknowledge the live people while we answer questions from yes. last week. Hey, it's Jeffrey. Terry. Hey, Terry. Uh, well, we've answered that before about the microphone thing. Yes. Um, sure mics are usually, I mean. That's you know. what you use because that's what people have. Yeah, basically. I'm not a diva when it's like, um, I don't really sound well on this kind of microphone. No, I don't. I don't care. I'm not that picky. <laughs> She's not picky about microphones. No, I'll just sing through anything and I'll try to sound my best personally. And, you know, yeah, that's it. Have you and Ryan <laughs> entertained starting a band? Ryan has entertained starting a band with Paul, but no, not, not us together. We haven't entertained us. Our... That's not entirely true. We've just talked about doing some acoustic stuff. Me, you, and Paul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In the past couple of weeks, we've talked about that. Yes. We, we have a set list. Yes. What are we going to call the band? I don't know. Angela and the Heroes. <laughs> Angela and the Dark Knights. Okay. That could be what it is. Yes. <laughs> Happy like Saturday. Gladys Knight and the Phipps. Yeah. And Angela and the Dark Knights. Angela and the Huge Dorks. Yeah. There That's you right. go. <laughs> that would be all right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he asked, um, as long as the neck feels good, does it matter what shape or brand? And what was your worst guitar? And what was my worst guitar? Well, we talked about that already, about the shapes. Would mm -hmm. I, like, somebody asked a question, would I play you know, a weird guitar as long as it felt good? And it's like, it, and it, it depends. Mm -hmm. So the neck has to feel good, for sure. Um, 
the neck has to feel good for sure but the, the body has to feel good too like the body has to sit comfortably i think you know so mm -hmm. i would say probably it's more than just the neck the neck is very important but also yeah. how you the, it sits okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it i think that does matter hi jeffrey egan <laughs> yeah terry said hey the stream yeah. looks awesome looks a lot better than last time all right um yeah we're well we're using the iphone so as far as the live stream right now we're using just my iphone 6 Hello, guys. and we do have some lav mics plugged in so maybe the audio would be a little bit better than the last yeah. time Try not. <laughs> can you hear that i don't can think hear, I can. it may not it might not even be working it might be still just the regular mic <laughs> who knows so, hi jeffrey hi justin hi paul in ireland hi joseph hi jeffrey Hey guys. Hi Jeffrey. Hi Jeffrey. And Gerald. And Gerald. We're answering the questions from last week's Ask RNA, then we'll kind of get into some live questions for you guys. What was the worst guitar that I've. I don't know if it means that the worst guitar I've owned or the worst I've ever played. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I've never really owned one that was just like terrible. It's the worst. Like, ugh, I just don't like it. I've had guitars that I didn't really love. Mm hmm. I had a couple of telly style guitars that I didn't absolutely love them. It was mostly the neck. Right. Very blocky neck heel that I didn't really love. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't, I've never really owned just a terrible guitar. I don't think. Yeah. Right. I don't know. And as far as the worst one I've ever played, I don't know. I've played a lot of guitars in my life. Mm -hmm. The worst one doesn't really... I can't think of one off the top of my head. So, um, yeah. There you go. Thanks for the questions, Tracy. Appreciate it as always. Multiple question winner, Tracy Johnson. There you go. Next question was from Black Country Blues. He said, hashtag funky guitar, why am I always broke? <laughs> yeah. That one's very easy. It's because you spend more money than you make. Super easy. Yeah, you gotta you stop spend, that, man. You spend more than you earn. That's why you're always broke. Mm hmm. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, next question. LD says, man, I have the same LTD you have, but it has, still has the original EMG pickups in it. I had it set up also because when I first got it, it wasn't I wasn't in love with it other than its looks, but now it's righteous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love righteous guitars. Righteous. <laughs> I've had it for about a, four years now. How do you like the pups you have in yours? I'm really not a fan of active pickups, mm. Mm, but I've learned... How to get the sound I like from them. Hashtag funky guitar. All right. So he's talking about my ESP LTD EC1000T. Um, and right now it has gold, gold EMG headset pickups in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, LD, I really like them. You want to monitor the comments as I yeah. answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Angel's going to be monitoring the live comments. I really like the headset. Um, that guitar came with the 81 and the 60, which I think are great pickups. Um, but I just wanted to kind of swap it out. It was kind of my tribute, James Hetfield tribute guitar. And so I put the gold headset in there. And I think the gold really makes that guitar pop because it has gold hardware everywhere. It just kind of makes sense for it to have gold pickups to me. So I really, I like the headset in that guitar because it's really my tribute to James, it's a very Metallica kind of thing for me. Um, and I like the headset, it's really great. I like the 5766, I like the headset. The normal like 8185s are good. The 8160 is a great combination, but they have a very distinct sound. You know, and I, I like the 5766 pickups and the uh, headset because they're, they're, they're different than the 8185. You know, they're still that, got that EMG punch Mm -hmm. But they're a different flavor. It's like a different flavor of ice cream. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Justin May says, howdy. Howdy, Justin. Paul says, greetings from Ireland. <laughs> Terry G says, uh, our sound and everything works. Uh, it must be the phone internet. Uh, well, one thing, Terry, we did is actually we did upgrade the internet here at the shop. So mm -hmm. we're not we're not on our phone internet. We're using the shop as internet. We did finally get it upgraded. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been very helpful for that. Very much so. So it made a big difference. Out here in the sticks, fast internet, hard to get. Um, 
Joseph Rochetti said, no on the active pickups. A huge yes to <laughs> passive pickups. That's all right. You know, people have their preferences, and that's cool. If you like passive, that's all right, too. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's get to the next question from last yeah. week's Ask Our Name. It's JP Centraccio. Question number one. Is there a guitar out there that you consider the one that got away? <laughs> Mine is a purple PRS. I had a chance to buy an O2. I was on the hunt for a Strat, so I didn't buy the PRS. Now I kick myself. And then question two, did you ever play Rocksmith back in the day to learn a song? <laughs> mm, okay, is there a guitar I consider the one that got away? Yeah, mm -hmm. there is one. Um, so y'all probably know, if you've been watching for a while, y'all know I like some Washburns. Mm -hmm. And I've got a really nice USA Washburn custom shop that I still have and I, and I love it and it's very precious mm -hmm. and I have several other washrooms there was one time I was perusing a website of used guitars I often refer to them as the devil's playground this one company mm -hmm. anyway I came across a USA custom shop washburn from Boogie Street <gasps> flying V that I, I always wanted one of the V's mm -hmm. and it was $600 because mm. like Dude, that's stupid. Those were like three grand. Right. Like, not just USA, custom shop. USA custom shop for three grand. I was like, 600 bucks. 600 bucks. It was at a GC somewhere. Yeah. It was on, I don't think they, I don't, I don't think they knew what they had. I was like, oh my God. I want this. I need it. I got to have it. And Angela reminded me that we did not have an extra $600 laying around that month, no, or that we week, didn't. or that moment in time. Or that year. Yeah. <laughs> And we didn't. Yeah. And I was like, oh, man. No, but oh, man. Over here. There we go. So that was the one that kind of, I was like, that really sucks. Because that was a, I mean, that was a killer deal for what it was. Yeah. And that's the thing that really gets me is when, you, when something comes along, it's a stupid deal. Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's my kryptonite. Yeah. I'm like, it's a killer deal. I need it. And so I didn't. Then after that, I always thought, you know what? I always need to have at least $600 stashed somewhere. So in the future, anytime a killer deal comes along, I can jump on it. Mm -hmm. I still haven't quite nailed that down. But, uh, mm -mm. but yeah, that one, it was a white Washburn USA custom shop mm -hmm. V. I think about it from time to time. Okay. <laughs> Did I ever play Rocksmith back in the day to learn a song? No. I never played Rocksmith. I had yeah. a student who had it, and I borrowed it one time, and I played it for like a day just to kind of see what the hype was about. And I was like, eh. Yeah. It was it was okay, but you know, I never used it to play a song. I did play the crap out of some Guitar Hero, which is not the same thing, because the Rocksmith, you actually use like a, a regular guitar, mm -hmm. and you plug it in, and you know, you're really kind of playing along on a real guitar. Right. But uh, no, never did. But I, I did play the bejeebers out of Guitar Hero, mm -hmm. didn't I? Mm -hmm, a lot. Mm -hmm. Our son's playing it right now at home, I think. Yeah, well, he was before On the, we left. On the controller. Right. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's just using the normal Xbox controller to do it. Mm -hmm. So, the guitar, I'm like, kids. Kids. It's probably <laughs> easier to him. I guess so. He's not he's used to pushing buttons on a controller. Yep. Uh, so, there we go. That was J.P. Centraccio's mm -hmm. questions. We got any? Questions? We're going to come back. We're finishing up the Ask Our Any Questions from last week. We're going to come hit the live questions as soon as we finish this up, guys. So stay, yeah. stay tuned. Uh, let's see. Just Fun Guitar Yay. always has a question. It says, uh, which brand of acoustic do you use? Thoughts on the new Star Wars trailer? Oh, uh, man. Loaded question. Uh -oh. Okay. Well, uh, my acoustic that I use the most currently, mm -hmm. that I use, is a Takamini. EAN40C, if you want to go Google it, mm -hmm. it's a Takamini solid cedar top, solid back and sides. It's actually really nice. It's one of the nice made in Japan Takaminis. You're, you're sleepy, aren't you? Yeah. No, I was just like, mm. I thought you were about to yawn. No. It's been a long day. No, I was just like, rattled off that serial number like, I don't know. Well, I know. I've, I've, I've done videos about it, so if you go back in the channel, if you type in RNA Music Takamini, you'll probably find me doing some goofy right. videos with it. And uh, it's 
it's a great guitar. It was one of those things that it popped up on a blowout clearance deal from a big online retail, and I was like, oh man. Mm -hmm. It was like 500 bucks, but it should have been $1,600. Mm. Normally a $1,600 guitar, and I got it for 500 bucks. It's like, oh. oh Luckily, we had the money. Yeah. Or I was able to round up the money at the time, because it was, I wanted an acoustic. Mm -hmm. I've been playing for forever. Like I'm, it's not like I'm a beginner guitar player. Right, at that time. And, especially. But if I was going to get another acoustic, I didn't want to get a crappy one or right. just a basic one. I'd had like a $300 Dean acoustic, and it was okay, mm -hmm. you know, but it wasn't fantastic. But that one came along, and it was a killer guitar for a killer price, and so that's what lured me in. Yeah. That's what I use. Angela has a Washburn. a Washburn acoustic, which makes sense because we're Washburn dealers. Yes. Uh, which one do you have? It's the... I don't know the number on it. It's the Comfort. It is the Comfort Series. Mm -hmm. It's a Comfort Series, but it's like a mini, like a parlor. Mm -hmm. It's like a parlor Comfort Series guitar. Yeah. It's a cool little guitar. Yep. We need to get, probably get some more. I broke a nail. You sure did. I must put it on some chat stick because my lips are hurting. <laughs> we've been working, we've both been working outside all day today. Yeah. So you work outside in a for pavilion. four days. But... Yeah, still outside. I was in the sun. Still cold and still outside. I was in the sun today mm -hmm. doing a garage show. Yep. Uh, thoughts on the new Star Wars trailer? Did you watch it? Yeah. What'd you think? I think it's going to be horrible. A horrible, horrible movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not excited. I'm not either. I'm not going to go see it. I'll wait till it comes out on DVD. Yeah, she's not going to go see it. Uh, I'm going to go see it, and the boys are going to go see it, or at least... Nicholas It'll be my first Star Wars movie other than A New Hope to not see in theaters. You sure you want to do that? I'm positive. <sighs> it, it's poetic. The first and the last. Didn't see him. I'm going to go see it, but I'm fully prepared to hate it. Like, I'm going to hate this. Mm -hmm. I really hated the last one. Yeah, I know. And, and the one before that. I didn't hate the one before that, but I didn't like it. Okay. I would, like it was okay there were things I liked about The Force Awakens mm -hmm. there were a couple of things I liked about it yeah I liked some things about it mm -hmm. and then a couple of things I, several things I did not like but I didn't hate it yeah I hated the, the eighth one I was yeah. like this is this is stupid it's hot garbage this is hot hot garbage <laughs> and so I don't really see how they can come back with number nine and fix that. Yeah. I mean, I kind of want to go see, like, how are they going to... It's like watching a train wreck, but you're like, well, I don't want to see the end of... Yeah. I don't want to see the final I don't explosion. want to see the cleanup. I want to see... Yeah. <laughs> I want to see why it happened. Yeah. I want. I do want to go... I want to go see it, but I'm already, like, prepared to, like, like I'm going to be mad when I come Oh, I know out. I will be. I don't like wasting my money or my time. Yeah. So... Not, I'm not I'll be excited. Fine. I'll be fine. Snuggling it up in my own bed, watching it. When she'll, be watching, she'll be watching oh, Downton Abbey while me and the boys are raging at mm -hmm. the screen. Yes. Damn you. And I told them, I said, name. come home, spoil everything for me so I can just watch it in peace. <laughs> when it comes out on DVD. They're like, oh, okay. All right. Spoilers. Yeah. We'll, go see it. we'll go see it with Uncle Paul. Yeah, that's what they said. And we'll be all be so mad. Yeah, Dustin Mabe said, Justin. Rogue One. Yeah, Justin. He said it was the best out of the Disney Star Wars, Rogue One. Yeah. Now, Rogue One was pretty pretty great. I liked it. Yeah, it was all right. I did yeah. not hate it. I did not hate it. It was actually enjoyable to watch. I didn't hate, what it, was the Han Solo one? Solo. Solo. I didn't hate it. Yeah. It was okay. They could have done a whole lot better. It was kind of better. pointless. Yeah. It was kind of... It would have been better if you saw his life leading up to the tavern scene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if it was those moments, those years right before that, right before, of course, they'd have to get a, a strong yeah. look alike. I think that's why they did it because Harrison Ford wouldn't be able to play his right. younger self. I did, I, Without extensive CGI. Well, they could do it. I mean, they could have. I mean, surely, because they did it even with Leia. The Tone King but, is in the house. Hey. Hi, Tone King. How are you, man? 
So I think they could have easily done it, but it would have been interesting to see. You know, I mean, I'm glad they found, you know, we found out how him and Chewbacca met, but even that was d- disappointing. Yeah. That whole part was disappointing. Well, see, the problem is, I'm again, I'm one of those guys who grew up and I read all the books, mm-hmm. like all the extended universe books. So, like, those stories have already been told in a book, in a novel, really well. Mm-hmm. So you didn't really need to come back and retell it completely differently, but I didn't hate it. But we're, I'm not excited about the next one, but I'm going to go see it. All right. Yeah. Next question. All right. Now, this is the final question from Ask RNA's last episode. Yeah. This is the last question on the page, and yeah. then we'll get to live questions. Thank you guys for your patience. Uh, Jeffrey Egan who says... Who is listening. Who is watching right now. Jeffrey, <laughs> we're going to answer your question from last week. It says, have you ever really listened to the bass on Elton's... Elton John's mm-hmm. Yellow Brick Road album? I looked up to see who was playing bass on that album... It's literally the only album that guy played on. <laughs> really killer bass, especially on Love Lies Bleeding. Mm. That sounds like a metal song. It really does. Love Lies Bleeding. I love Elton John's music, but no, I've never... I've never listened to the bass. I've never listened to that album, I don't think. Oh, it's a good album. Is it? Mm-hmm. Is there a song off of it I would know? Yeah. I think so. I couldn't... Right off the top of my head. Can you tell me what it was? Mm-mm. I'm trying to think of one. Name one of the, off the album that Ryan might know. What's a popular song? I probably couldn't. Over there. I probably couldn't hear it in my head if I was trying to. Yeah. I'm not a big Elton John fan. Yeah. You are. Well, goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Is on there. <laughs> goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Mm-hmm. I don't know that song. Yeah, you've you've heard it. It's one I've of the most it? popular ones. I've not paid much attention to the bass on that. Um, and there you go. Those are all the questions from last week's Ask RNA. They were written. We really needed to get to those first before we get to the live questions. Now we're going to roll up. And Jeffrey says I should listen to the album just for the bass. I will check it out, yeah. Jeffrey. Now I'm, I'm going to check do it that. out. And now that I actually am going to have time after working at First Monday, I'll be able to. <laughs> All right, so we're going to scroll back up and try to catch some of the live questions, you guys, and we'll get caught up with yeah. everyone watching live right now. All 22 of y'all. Mm-hmm. 22 watching, only nine thumbs up. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. You don't have to thumbs up just because. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Jeffrey said, dang, we're on late. Yep, we, we are on late. Streamless yeah. is good. Thank you. Howdy. Howdy. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, Justin made thoughts on roasted maple necks. Is it a gimmick? Uh, interestingly, Joseph, I did just have a roasted maple neck guitar come through the shop recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got videos that have been recorded but not edited um, about it. I liked it. You know, I thought it was kind of neat. It looked cool, you mm-hmm. know, and, you know, guitar players, we care about looks as much as we do, or more than we do about sound, mm-hmm. I think. You know, we listen with our eyes As sometimes. you adjust your Thor shirt. As I adjust my, uh, my mighty, shirt of mightiness. Yes. Um, now, whether it's a, a fad or not, I don't know, mm-hmm. but uh, I liked it. I liked the look of it. The one that I had, it was a music man. Um, and it was super flamey, which was cool on the front and the yeah, back. Yeah, you like that. I did. I like the flamey maples. Mm-hmm. And it was roasty toasty. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Uh, next question. Next question. Oh, yep, yep, one. yep. Oh, wait. Did I miss one? Which one? Oh, uh, Brian Strausser said, how about Soiled Doves for a band title? Popped into my head. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Soil does. Interesting. That sounds like a Prince cover band. It really does. Like, that's what I imagine. If we did a lot of Prince tunes. Yes. <laughs> when doves cry. Dirtily. Yeah. If we did them with grunge, some dirt. With some grunge. Some dirty, dirty Prince. That would be. <laughs> prince is already dirty. Prince I don't is, know how much dirty you can get. Yeah. Some crunchy Prince <laughs> would be that soil doves. Yes. 
Uh, yeah. Let's see. Tone King in the house. Hey. Highway to Hell in the house. Hi, guys. Uh, Joseph Ricchetti said the first two Star Wars were the best. You know, I really liked. Well, I like the first three. I think A New Hope mm -hmm. it is, is my least favorite of the original trilogy. I liked Return of the Jedi a lot. That was yeah quite partial to A New Hope. Is kind of like, slow. I didn't like, like you got to kind of Jedi. You kind of got to wait for it to get rolling. Like yeah, it's a little boring in the beginning. I I don't I wasn't big on Jabba's Palace. After Jabba's Palace is all over, then I'm Return of the Jedi. Then you're into it? Mm hmm Rancor scared me when I was a kid. Me too. <laughs> so have you guys heard of Ghost? They opened for Metallica. I have heard of Ghost. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I even went and looked up some of their music videos. I'm like, I like how he looked at me like, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I have. Ghosty Ghost. Um, yeah. I think their music's interesting. Like, I like the sound of it. I don't like their lyrics. Mm -hmm. They're kind of satanic. Kind of like, I mean, I think mm -hmm. like Ozzy, for the sake of like shock value. Yeah. You know, with the, the priests and the upside down crosses and that kind of stuff. Yeah. No. But the music's no. very poppy sounding. Mm -hmm. I expect it to be more like death metal kind of sounding because mm -hmm. of their image. But it's very like pop metal. Mm. Which, I mean, sonically, I like how it sounded, but I'm like, I'm not really down with the imagery and the... Mm -hmm. All that kind of stuff. But yeah, have heard of him. He said, I call Eddie and tell him to get on the road. Eddie's looking kind of old. Have y'all looked at pictures of Eddie Van Halen recently? If you go to like Wolf, Wolf, he is. Wolf Van Halen's Instagram, Wolfie's <laughs> got pictures of like him. There was a picture he just put up of him and Eddie and Valerie mm -hmm. like all together. I was like, man, Eddie's looking real old. Yeah. Like real old but it's funny how you think of famous people especially if they're not like he's not been on the cover of a magazine lately not since him and Valerie were divorced and all that stuff yeah I mean he's been on he's been on some like in a few years ago but I still yeah. in, my, in my mind I still picture him as a certain looking a certain way mm -hmm. and then I'm like oh wow but I mean hey we all get older so it's truth what's up I mean the guys in Metallica are starting to look a little older even than they did <laughs> yeah uh, he was talking about the roasted maple necks are more stable and don't seem to move. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have that one long enough to really comment on that. I like the look of it, but, you know. Let's see. Um, RKG Austin. Is it, have you heard about PV selling off a bunch of stuff from the warehouse? Do you think PV will go out of business? Um, I have not heard about mm -hmm. that. We're not a PV dealer. I talked to them years ago, but we never could come to an agreement. And uh, so I haven't paid a whole lot of attention mm -hmm. to, I mean, my the very first amp I ever owned is a PV and I have it. It's in the room back there. Yep. And I'm going to do a video. My, my idea was like, your very first amp versus your current amp. <laughs> right. So I'm going to do a shootout video of my very first amp, which is a PV, and my current like go-to amp, mm -hmm. which should be fun as soon as I have time and get past the other 40 videos I have in the hard drive that I haven't edited yet. But yeah. I doubt they'll go out of business. Uh, they might get bought out and get new ownership, but yeah. I don't think they're gonna go out of business because they're a brand. Right. And the brand still has value. You know, even if it gets bought by someone else, there's, there's a brand and name in there. Uh, let's see. Gerald Johnson, what's your best electric guitar uh, buy right now. What's your best? What's your best electric guitar buy right now? Mm -hmm. Best electric guitar buy. Yeah. What have you purchased? Like what have I purchased? Mm -hmm. That was the best one. Um. Well, the best purchase I've made recently was a Schecter. Mm -hmm. Schecter <laughs> Solo <laughs> Six. That's the he best buy so I made recently. Oh, what would you do? Oh, I'll cover my water. I need to go blow my nose. I don't to you, you don't. Turn to detach. You just detach. I have to detach. 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 <laughs> That's gonna sound fun. There you go. 
<laughs> there you go. All right. The uh, best one that I've had is a Schecter recently. Let's see. Let me scroll. Uh, 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 questions? Yeah, RKJ. RKJ. That's hard to say, man. RKJ Austin. Most of those performers have had a rough life. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those guys, especially in their younger days, were living, living hard, doing the uh, alcohol thing and drugs and smoking. I mean, smoking. Yeah, smoking in the boys' room and drinking alcohol will age you pretty quickly. You know, so I'm kind of surprised they're still around. But, you know, they also, most of those guys, that have a, if they have a fair bit of money, they can also afford really good doctors. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the body's an amazing thing. You know, you start taking care of it, you can reverse some damage that you've done to your life. Uh, Joe McCarthy. Hey, Joe. Hey, How Joe. are you? There's a package... What are you doing? Keep knocking over that water. Once. It's closed. It's fine. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hi, Joe. There's a package. Yeah. Check that tracking number. Uh, let's see. Station unrest. Mm -hmm. uh, how's the music scene in your area? Any good local bands? Mm. Well, our local area is very small. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Rural East Texas. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like country and blues yeah. locally. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Locally. There's some mm -hmm. locally. Not not uh, not a lot that I'm really into. My favorite band was in Nacogdoches. My favorite local local band was Nacogdoches, mm -hmm. which is two hours away from us. Yeah. But now they're in Austin, which is like three and a half hours away from us. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's not a lot in our, our immediate area. A lot of country um, single artists. Yeah, like singer-songwriter, kind of strum your acoustic mm -hmm. and sing your songs about your pickup truck. Mm -hmm. that's, that's very predominant around here. <laughs> yeah. Except for us. We're the only ones. Mm -hmm. and which is funny because teaching lessons, we teach a lot of rock stuff. Right. Um, so maybe in about five years, when a lot of our students are older, there will be more rock. I hope in the so. I hope there will be, too, in the local area. Mm -hmm. Joe said, Ryan, you should live stream your students' concerts. Really should. We should do that next mm -hmm. time. Yeah. I think the problem we run into is, again, the Internet, though. Like, where we, yeah. where we stream, where we have our uh, student recitals. I don't think they have really good, unless we use their Wi-Fi. Yeah, if they, if they would let us plug into their Wi-Fi, maybe we could do that. But, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know how fast it is. That, that's been the issue because just, um, just with our phone coverage out here, again, we're out in the sticks. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just our normal phone coverage is not super awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would love to. We might try it next time, uh, Joseph. And we'll see how it goes. We try to film them. Oh yeah, yeah, Joe. You said didn't tape it. I have, I have them taped. Mm -hmm. I have some of them taped, but um, he does quite a few of them. Yeah, I've got some of them. The audio didn't work very well. Some of them, uh, the angles, or it just didn't, you know, sit well because we don't have the people to monitor them while we're up on the stage and we're both up on the stage. Yeah. So having someone properly set everything and make sure it's going and still recording and hasn't turned off or yeah. you know, all that stuff it's just it you know, we don't have anybody and we can't um, right now pay anybody locally who's a professional to come and do it for us yeah so. it's, it's not in the budget to pay someone to do that no and no, uh, yeah that's the problem like i had a i had a friend come and do it one time and like it was not great mm -hmm. or the the microphone levels were messed up as so i was it was too odd acacia guitars <laughs> done with your ep ryan <laughs> i'm working on it acacia i said terry said i should put some songs out you should i should oh angela should put some songs out yeah you should yeah you should help me with that i should help you terry 
Terry, you're not helping me, man. <laughs> uh, I'm working on it, Acacia. Yeah. Kind of. I'm not really working on it. I'm thinking about working on it. Yeah, he's a dabbling. I still have, like, so many gigabytes of video to edit. Yeah. Doing 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 the YouTube and editing stuff. It's That's so why nice. he's going to start training our son, like we've talked about many times in the past, to do this stuff for yeah. him so he can have time to do all this. Well, someone said that. They said, you should get the kids, train the kids to do the video. And I'm like, yeah, I should do that. That is something I should yes. do. Yes. Teach those young ones. That's right, Joe. Yep. Yeah. Let's yeah. See. Hi, Jason Wade, Manly, 1979. Mm, yeah. You had a question. RKJ have I seen S&M 2? I have not seen it. My buddy Pat in Australia saw it twice. He thought yeah. it was great. Right? We didn't have a place to do it uh, or go see it around here. Oh, Brian from Oregon. My wife, Kristen, wants to know how the crochet is going. How's your crocheting going, Andrew? It's going well. You've been getting a lot of orders recently. Yeah, I have. Quite a bit. What was the last few things you made? Um, like five elephants, um, two turtles, like the squirt from Nemo. Finding uh, Nemo turtles. Finding Nemo turtles. Dude, um, crush. Um, I'm doing a turtle um, chat, you know, photo shoot. Thing. Like a onesie for a baby. Yeah, it's like a little blanket that they wear over them through their arms, and then you put a little hat on so they look like a turtle when they're laying down for their photos. <laughs> so I'm doing that. What else? Some hats. Some beanies. And I'm making ear wraps for people to buy whenever they come in here, so I'll have some stuff stocked up. So. <laughs> There's a beetle on the floor. Yeah, I know. It's been it's crawling. It's a big old me. black beetle. It's weird. That's a Texas beetle. Yeah. Eats barbecue. Let's see. Angela, where can I buy your stuff? Um, you can uh, message me on Facebook. Um, on our RA Music Facebook page, we'll be fine. You can do it on there. Um, you I have, have a crochet page. I do have a crochet page, but a lot of people can't find it because it's not that big. So mm -hmm. when they search for it, it's hard for them to find it. But it's Lollies, L E W L E Y, loops, apostrophe S, loops. Lollies, L-A-W-L-E-Y-S, yes. -E -E yes, loops. Like, yes, like our our loops. <laughs> it's our loops. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our loops. Yes, I'm looping. So um, you can message me on there or on the RNA Music Facebook page, and just let me know what you want. And I usually do it through PayPal. So. Yep. Payments and Instagram. PayPal. You have an mm -hmm. Instagram. Yes, and Instagram. Find me on Instagram. A Lolly's Loops. My Instagram. name, Lolly's Loops. Um, I have like two or three, four Instagram pages. So, a couple of Instagrams. Yeah. He said you should do an Etsy store. Yeah, I would do an Etsy store. I would, if I did Etsy, I would do it for the patterns only, not for actual inventory because they take up so much time. So. <laughs> yeah. Normally, what she does is like custom order you don't necessarily crochet a bunch of stuff and have it in stock right because it's time. a lot i got to the point when i was making back-to-back -back orders and stocks and big bulks even if it was just like five or six at a time like i made a bunch of pumpkins one year and then i made all the reindeer one year and like four or five moose meese i don't know it was plural for moose. mooses mooses um mooses. And, or lambs at easter um I, my hands start to cramp up quite a bit and, um, and I have a torn uh, ligament in, t uh, in my back um, underneath my shoulder blade so that really starts to hurt so I try not to do a lot of bulk items like that so I'd have to have an inventory so it's usually just by you know order like that you have to pace yourself I do my I really do Catawampus. I do I do Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> There's not much of a delay on this video. This is pretty, like... Yeah, that's pretty, pretty spot quick. on. Mm -hmm. kind of kind of freaking me out a little bit. Uh, Jeffrey wants to know where my big Texas mug is. I think it's in the kitchen. Yep. Right behind us is the, the kitchen at the shop. So it's in there. Mm -hmm. I'm not thirsty right now. Mm-hmm. We just had some diet root beer floats before we came up here. We did. It was good. <sighs> stuffed. So stuffed. 
Uh, my muscles are preaching out. Yeah, we had a, a bad day food-wise. I did, actually did really well because I didn't have breakfast this morning. I didn't have breakfast this morning. And then for lunch, I had a burger. <laughs> I had a burger, no bun. Oh, look at you. I know. I cheated on Keto so bad Because I found today. out that the burger, they have a food truck down at the end of the Arbors that they don't, um, when you buy no bun, they double your meat. They give you two patties. Instead double of, patties with no bun. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I had all the veggies and I just cut them up like a salad. All the veggies, the toppings, the onion, tomatoes, lettuce, pickles. And so I had like a salad and just like two patties. That was my lunch today. It was really good, and I had like three bottles of water. I had two bottles of water and diet Sprite. Yeah. And way too many carbs today. I'm carb swole. Yeah. You can see. See? So I did that today. You see my belly. (laughs) (laughs) Carb swole. I know. It looks like I have abs. Yeah, nice. Very nice. nice. Yeah. I like this shirt. I'm going to wear it every day. Okay. I know you will. (laughs) Oh, man. Let's see. All right, I think we're caught up on questions here. <laughs> any, you guys got any more questions for us? What time is it? What time do we start? I don't even know. I don't know either. I don't is even know it, how long we've been going. It Does doesn't it say? say. I don't know. Is there a time stamp? Oh, 41 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've been 40 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Does okay. mother know I'm wearing her drapes? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. That was good. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind that one. Yeah, sorry, to 41 minutes ago. All right. Hey, we're doing pretty good then on time. Yeah, we are. Not bad. With we were, uh, people, we 16 kinda, thumbs up. We decided to be in, like, we can't go longer than an hour. Yeah. Because it's just been a long day. insanity. And tomorrow's going to be a long day. Yeah. It's going to start early. It's been, it's been just super cray cray. Mm-hmm. I know we like, we always say that, but it's true. Mm hmm. I think that's one of the things, you know, being self-employed. Tim Worley. <gasps> Hi, Tim. What? Oh, my gosh. Where have you been, Tim? Yeah. Been working? <laughs> I know. You have been working we really hard. We were just hard. talking about Tim today, I think. I think we were talking about you, Tim. Were your ears burning? <laughs> At po- Maybe me and Paul were. I don't remember. Yeah, we were talking about We were, Must like, a couple days Paul. ago. <laughs> Dave Weiss. Mm-hmm. Howdy. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, being self-employed. That's where, where I was going. Was um, mm-hmm. you know, it's like we do, we do everything, right? There's no other. Uh, mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. There's nobody else doing anything else. It's us doing everything. Yeah. Which is why it takes me a while to get things done sometimes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you know, and that's why if I get behind on video editing, there's that to do. There's you know still website redesign to do there's there's so many things <laughs> that we need to do and i think it's mostly because we're not or we try not to be we try not to be workaholics so when we go home we always make a point to say okay i'm tired you know what that stuff can wait till tomorrow i'm going to get some rest or i'm going to spend time with my family you know yeah. we're not going to forego quality time for a project we're not going to put that, our family, and even like date night or stuff like that on the back burner for a project that can wait, you know? So I think that that's why a lot of stuff go, gets put behind, and that's okay. Yeah. You know? A couple of super chats in here. Thank you, guys. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, in the early days, I think that was one of the things, is when you first started off, we, I really did work a lot. And it was, mm-hmm. you know, like seven days a week, two weeks straight. You know, we had basically had two days off a month, you know, and it was just, we were really just grinding hard. And then it got to a point where, you know, the whole point of being self employed is to kind of be in charge of your own time and yeah. be able to be around your family and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so we got to a point where business was good enough or busy enough that it was like, all right, we're paying all the bills, you know, I'm going to go back to having two days off a week. Mm-hmm. You know, and being able to have a life, you know. And I try to, and I do that now. People ask me a lot of times, like, so do you play, how often do you play guitar? I'm like, well, I play guitar like every day at work. 
and I play it, you know, I play guitar at a church, so we have, you know, I have Tuesday night band practices, I have to go do that, and Sunday mornings I play, like tomorrow morning, I gotta get up and go play guitar. But when I get home from work, I don't always play guitar a lot, because I've already been playing guitar all day. Right. So that's one thing about the EP, so when it comes to even just writing my own music, or working on music with Paul, mm -hmm. working on music with Angela, uh, you know, when I get home at night, most of the time I just wanna like watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Or go to sleep or something. Mm -hmm. But um, James Shackelford, two dollars. Thank you, James. Super nice. Keep the music alive. This is any holiday CMG RNA guitars coming? Um, no. <laughs> no. I mean, we have some CMGs. I just got a CMG this guitar in. Maybe this, next year. Yeah, a very Christmassy looking CMG CMG guitar just showed up, and I just shipped it out. Mm -hmm. And I did shoot some video for it that I have not had a chance to edit yet. That's the story of my life. Um, and we'll have another custom CMG guitar coming probably end of November. Mm -hmm. End of November, first week of December probably. We have another CMG coming. But these were both custom orders yeah. for a beautiful, beautiful customer of ours who might, may or may not be in the chat right now. <laughs> So we do have some coming, but no uh, limited edition CMG RNAs yet. I still haven't decided on the, the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Oh, and then six in line. It says, finally got to our house in Tasmania. You've always got a place to stay if you're crazy enough to come south. Oh. Take care and have a great weekend. Got to unpack more boxes. Six in line with a super, super chat. Thank you, man. That's nice. tremendous. I would love to go to Tasmania. Down in Tasmania. Down in Tasmania. <laughs> I would too. That'd be super rad. That would be really awesome. I've never left the United States. Oh, that's right. I haven't even been to Mexico. Yeah. I've been to it. the border of Mexico in Texas. Yes. To visit my family. I've <laughs> flown over the ocean, over California, and then come back in. Because you have to fly out over the ocean to come back into land. Yes, I was on the same plane. Yeah. So, I've kind of been out of there yeah that's as far farthest but even then it's still considered america until you get it to yeah a it was point. still american waters <laughs> she's been all over the place she's traveled the world no not really Wait, switzerland yeah and germany in germany mm -hmm. and mexico and mexico <laughs> and i met the canadian mounted police so that could count I you haven't know. exactly been to canada but you've no. met some canadians i have met some canadians canadians Day Weiss, 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 it's Weiss, I think. Any preference for Filtertron stop pickups? We do pickups? this every single time. I'm so <laughs> sorry, Dave. I know. Yes, I, always get, I always get it wrong. And probably right, and then wrong, and then right, and then wrong. Yeah. Um, not really, man. I've never really been into that style pickups. I mean, I've had a few guitars, I think, come through the shop with them, but it's never really, it's never really my thing. I'm very plain Jane like that. I'm, I'm a humbucker guy. I like the humbuckers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. James Shackelford, what's that bass behind Angela? Um, oh, there's a bass right here. Uh, come on. Don't drop it live. Oh, gosh. This yeah, is a Squire do. Mike Dirt. <laughs> Dirt. Signature bass. I almost dropped it. See that? Yeah. This actually belongs to the Bitter Bass Man. Paul, the Bitter Bass Player. This is one of his basses. He has a couple of basses here on consignment. Is that the Road Rash bass? No, no, no. The Road Rash. The Road Rash. Is over here? Is over there. He has an Ibanez that uh, oh, yeah. ejected itself from the back of a truck yeah. and survived. And it's here on consignment, too. It's got some battle damage. Mm -hmm. Super sexy, though. But uh, yeah. So this is a Mike Dirt Squire. <laughs> on my nose. It's all, you know, if you like the Green Day, it's a good uh, base for that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, he he used to be a mega, mega, mega huge. Can you? I'm at the wrong angle. I can't turn. Mega huge Green Day fan. Mm -hmm. And he's gotten a little less Green Day, Green Day fan. Love. They got too political for him. Yeah, and, and he's just like, shut up and play some music. As an anarchist, he doesn't like it when his punk bands start getting super political and tell yeah. you what you can and can't do or who you should right. vote for or shouldn't vote for. Or right. You're not welcome at our show anyway. if you voted for somebody. 
Mm-hmm. And he didn't vote for anybody. That they were talking about. That they were talking about. <laughs> but he was just pissed that they were like, don't tell me what to do. Right. And don't tell me I'm not a fan if I vote a certain way. Right. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Tim, I don't think there are sharks in Tasmania, but there might be. There could be, Tim. <laughs> There's Tasmanian devils. And they're they're cute though. The actual devils, Tasmanian, the actual the devils, actual Tasmanian not devils the uh, Bugs Bunny devils. Yeah, and he's cute too. He is pretty cute, actually. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Joe, did I get a chance to play the Diane model when we visited? No, they didn't have any completed yet. I saw a body. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. They, but we they hadn't. That. I saw a rough cut body mm-hmm. of a Diane, but they didn't have. They didn't have one done, done yet. So I did yeah. not get a chance to play that. Um, they're actually, I don't think they have any, I think they had a couple for the summer NAM. Yeah, because we were there in, at the end of, or the yeah, beginning of I mean, May. They were pushing it to get a couple mm-hmm. ready just to have at summer NAM. So, but no, I did not, which I don't know how I would have felt it. I, I'm not a, I'm not a super, super S type guy lover although i just had i just had that music man come through which is killer yeah. if you like s types right uh let's see joe's been to australia new zealand and antarctica antarctica joe that's super cool that's that's pretty cool man um how would a hell 96792 as a question RNA, can you really hear the difference between EL34 and 6L6 tubes at bedroom levels? Ooh. Hmm. That's a good one. At bedroom levels? I don't know. Uh, I've never swapped those, like, in the same amp. See, like, I have a, a Jet City that's got EL34s in it. And then I have, you know, like a, a Devil Cat and uh, the Mesa, which have 6L6s. But they're two different amps. You know, the circuitry is different. Mm-hmm. So that's a, t- that's a tough thing to say. It's like, is it, are they different because of the tubes? Do they sound different because of the tubes? Or do they sound different because of the circuitry? Mm-hmm. So as far as like volume levels, the difference that it makes there, probably not at bedroom levels. I, I don't think, you yeah. know, I don't think that makes as much of a difference at that point. If you could crank them up. You know, you could probably, but they'd have to be one of those things you have to do it in in the same amp, the same amp swap the tubes out, and that gets a little tricky. That gets a little tricky to do if you want to actually do a real comparison. Um, thanks for Terry's keeping us on track with the minutes, fifty two minutes. <laughs> Let's see. Angela, what holiday crochet project are you working on this year? More reindeer? Tim Worley wants to know. Hmm. Um, actually, I was a going to... Doll? A choker doll, yes. Actually, I have to work on that. Um, I was going to make probably about three or four reindeer. Um, Those reindeer are cute. Yes. I want one. And then they, I found these little... How much? Many... I can't remember how much. I sold them like 20 bucks. How much for me? <laughs> Did 20 I get the, bucks. Did I get the bro <laughs> price? <laughs> no, 20 bucks. Um, and then there were like little miniatures uh, Santa Claus that were really cute that I want to try to make. And also I wanted to try to do, um, since we did a reindeer, I would do them a little bit different, but then add the abominable from um, Rudolph. I think that would, that would be that cool. Would be fun. A little bitty Yukon Cornelius. I think the that would be that would be fun and pretty easy to make considering Ugh. he's just all one color and he has just the eyes, you know, that come out to the side. A little squatty. And then wide man. mouth, yeah. Like a squatty ab- abdominal and the Yukon Cornelius. I think that would be fun. I like abdominals. Abdominals. <laughs> yeah. Abominable. Abominable. Yeah. Mike Stevens. Mm-hmm. The reindeer is about the only decoration I get out for Christmas now that there are, aren't any kids around or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mike. Hope Hi, you're Mike. doing well, man. Yeah. That's a cool reindeer. Yeah. I want one. Every time she made one, I was like, that's super cool. Yeah. I want one. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay her. They're really cute. I think those are 
Those are cool. Bumbles bounce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> nice. That. Oh my gosh, when he peeks over the mountainscape, you know, he's just like kind of looking around. Gave me nightmares. Whenever the frosty guy, Burl Ives, who, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. he was like, you might want to turn your head away from this. I was like, you know, like listening to the, <laughs> listening to the talking snowman who's, you know, singing silver and gold. <laughs> silver and gold. You know, <laughs> it gave me nightmares when I was a kid. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. But I loved it as I got older. Dave Weiss. Yeah. Going to sleep. Good night, all. Yes. Adulting sucks. Yes. Good night, Dave. Good night. I don't know if I agree with that, though. I, I, I hear, um, we have friends. Maybe it's because they're younger than us. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know how old Dave is. Yeah, I don't know how old Dave is either. But you'll see like 27 year olds and like 30 year olds be like, adulting real hard today. You know, and they're like, yeah, 25 year olds. <laughs> 25, like, I'm adulting. And I'm like, I do not want to go back to being a kid. No. I don't know about anybody else. But I love being an adult. Mm-mm. I can I, eat all the carbs I want. Yes. I well, I pay for it, but I can do it. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. It's just not, you know. No one tells me what to do. Yeah. You know, I get to be married. I like I like that a lot. I like <laughs> being married. Aww. Yeah, I would not want to go back to being a kid. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, you don't have any responsibilities really, but you also don't have any freedom. Right. Uh, so I would I would rather be adulting than be kidding. Hashtag no kidding. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. All right, yeah, anyway, you guys tell us who wants to go back to being a kid, mm-hmm. or would you rather be an adult? <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I like being a kid. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back either. I'm happy where I'm at. I wasn't a very good kid, so. What? I mean, I was, but I made some pretty poor choices. Poor choices. Poor yeah. choices. <laughs> Joe wants to be a kid. He wants a do over. I understand. Mulligan it. Just, yeah. you know. Well, you know, at a certain point, that kind of makes sense. You know, where I'm at in my life right now, mm-hmm. I'm pretty happy. I would not want to go back to being like a sixth grader. Yeah. I think I'd like to go back to like being 25 again. If I could start over at 25, maybe. If I could go back to 20, 20 21? Yeah, 21 would be a good age. But not like 12. Yeah, no, I don't want to go back to being or 13 like or 10. Yeah, prepubescent. Yeah, going through junior high sucks. Junior high sucks. I don't want to relive junior high. <laughs> Tim says, I'm a musician. That's an adult who is a kid. That's not the best. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you have to do something that you love, have fun. See, Mike Nelly says, I don't want to be a kid, but I like to have current day experience in my 22-year-old body. Yeah, if I could keep the knowledge and right. wisdom I've acquired through the last 20, how old am I? 20 years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would, yeah, I wouldn't mind being like physically 22 again. Mm-hmm. But I know a lot more now than I did. But not mentally 22. I don't mean mentally be 22, no. Yeah. Uh-uh. That's why vampires are great. Yes. It's like you just, you get all the life experience and you stay the same age. It'd be awesome if you were a vampire Except to be a vampire son. at like 30. Like you returned at 30. Yeah. Because then you would be like a really strong person, you know. Because even at like a 20 year Yeah, well-rounded Yes, yeah. you'd be you'd be mentally strong, you know, stronger than a twenty-year-old. Even though a lot of thirty-year-olds are jackasses, <laughs> but you have what? Uh, are you kidding me? What? What? Are you uh, but getting? you but like compared to a twenty-year-old, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to be stuck with a twenty-year-old mentality for the rest of my life. I would hate that. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, Jeffrey said, I'd go back at the same time period, but not a kid today. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be a kid yeah. currently. Mm-mm. No. I don't know if I want to be a kid in any time period, honestly. Yeah. There's pros and cons of every every generation. Oh, Mr. Wilson with the Strat says, can we see the Road Rash bass? I love guitar slash basses with a story. Can I reach that without think, yanking? Yeah, I think you got plenty of cable there. I have to go around this. We got, we got 
we got our lav mics on because last time the the picture quality was good everybody said but we could have been louder so i tried to come up with a way to make that better so all right story time gather around children gather around kiddos this is a pretty sick ibanez sound gear bass like back in the day it was yeah. like uh 900 mm -hmm. like street price so the yeah, retail was yeah retail was probably the came on. 13 1400 bucks so this is like a 900 base 900 dollars base back in the day in the 90s mm -hmm. and uh this is paul the bitter bass man he had this one for so many years and then he was moving house he got a new place and he was moving all of his stuff in the back of his truck and this was in a gig bag mm -hmm. a gig bag mm -hmm. in the back of his uh toyota pickup truck yes uh his turd yeah and when he got to One his new place turns. he was like where's my base mm -hmm. like it wasn't in the back of his truck anymore so he went back down the road and he found it down the highway down on the road mm-hmm it wasn't a highway. It was a country road. I thought you said it was like I-20. No. Like it, it was, was on the side of the road, like coming off of I-20. Was it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyways, it got ejected from his truck. Mm -hmm. And so the only damage it sustained, you can see we got a pretty big chunk of paint got took off right here. Just fairly impressive. Like, this is a pretty thick layer of yeah, paint. Like, that's, some... that's a lot of paint. But So we got that, that gone. Mm -hmm. And then um, up here, let's see if you can see that. Up there on the tip, we got some road rash. There it is. Yeah, you guys can see that. Awesome. A little dingy ding right there. And it broke this tuner on mm -hmm. this side. Now, surprisingly, it did not snap the neck. There's no cracks in the neck. Mm -hmm. No, you'd snap the headstock off, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. So really all he's done to it, he re did replace this tuner, mm -hmm. and that's it. And it's still a killer base. I think I need to change the battery. I think the battery's dead in it now. But yeah. uh, this this was his main base for a long time. Long time. Mm -hmm. He called me. We were living in Tulsa, mm -hmm. Oklahoma. And he called me and he's like, you're not going to you know, guess what happened. I'm like, what? He's like, I need a base. I'm like, what? And I was working at guitar center mm -hmm. in, in Tulsa so he called and he bought because uh, this was it. I mean this was it and he couldn't play it because the tuner was broke and he bought um, a Schecter five string bass he still has it it's actually in the other room mm -hmm. <laughs> the replacement bass is in the lesson room um, he bought it from me and I got him a, I gave him a killer deal like artist pricing which was like cost plus 10% mm -hmm. back then we could do that at guitar center I don't know if they do that now and uh, we actually ended up driving the next day. It was the weekend, and I had a day off. And we drove to Canton, which is, is about a four and a half hour drive from Tulsa, Oklahoma, to Canton, mm -hmm. Texas. And I showed up at his work. I'm like, here you go. And he didn't know we were coming. Mm -mm. Totally surprised him. And uh, so he got, and he's been a Schecter guy ever since this. He's yeah. had quite a few Schecter bases since then, still plays Schecters. But yeah, so this is. Uh, that's it. This is the Road Rash base. It's. it's I'm surprised cool. he's selling it. Honestly, he, he told me he wanted to put it up for consignment. Nostalgia. And uh, oh, but fun. I hold on to stuff. I'm. I keep stuff. I'm sentimental like that with gear. He's not sentimental, I guess. <laughs> Staying out of the. Staying out of the shot. Stand out. There you go. And you know, and good. So yeah, that's the and, uh, and good, and good. 25 watching and 25 thumbs up. Sweet. Awesome. Terry's doing a great job down there reminding us. Yes. Uh, I'm running over this yeah. long. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we got tumbling bases. Uh, Frank Moss, probably the final question because we're over our hour limit. It says, do you still have your Nick Catanese Washburn? <laughs> I do not. Actually, uh, kind of funny story. Or well, not real funny. Not ha ha funny. Yeah, no, not not funny. Nick got into some trouble legally, and uh, but right before that happened, right before his, he had his legal issues and his stuff that came out that was, you know, 
not good. Mm -hmm. Actually, ended up, I sold it because I was like, I've got four or five Washburn Idols, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't really need this one. And plus, it has the big logo on it, and it's a signature one. Yeah. And I have other ones that are very similar to it, but they don't have his name on it. And so I like it. So I sold it, and then like literally a week later, the news sort of broke about him getting arrested. And mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Crazy. So I kind of lucked out on that. Killer guitar. But yeah. again, that's the problem sometimes. If you get a signature piece of gear, yeah, and I get it. You get it. You get it because you're a fan of the artist, you know. But then, you know, what if that artist does something that you're like, well, like Paul in the Green Day bass. He's like, mm -hmm. you guys are, you guys made me angry. Like I was a fan, and now I really don't like your stance on this certain thing. Right. I don't even want this bass anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think that's a that's an issue with signature gears. Like, what if that artist that you loved? finally comes out and does something you really hate. You're like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. So, but no, I don't have it. <laughs> uh, Station Unrest. What's your most sentimental guitar? That's easy. Mm -hmm. What What is it? It is Gibson Explorer. That's the one. Yeah, my 91 Gibson Explorer is definitely the most sentimental guitar that I have. Mm -hmm. Um Followed probably very closely by my uh, custom shop, USA custom shop, Washburn Idol, the Ocho. The Ocho. The Ocho. It's, yeah. it's pretty sentimental too. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Both of those. And then after that, I don't know what order I would put them in. That would be a fun video. Let me put these guitars in order of... Sentimentality. Sentimental from 1 to 13. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joe McCarthy says, I have three signature guitars, Hendrix, Clapton, and Kotzen. Well, Hendrix and Clapton are probably not going to disappoint you at this point yeah. in time. Yeah, I think you're good. You're probably good. And Richie Kotzen, he probably won't either, you know, <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't even know if I have any signature guitars. Mm -mm. I don't think I do. Mm -mm. I keep wanting to get like a James Hetfield like guitar. Imagine that. Uh, shocking. I know. But I, I keep not getting one. But I keep getting guitars that are kind of like, this could be like, this, uh, this could be like, oh, this is the, basically a Hetfield guitar, but yeah. it just doesn't have a name on it. Right. Which I like, because then it's kind of more like my guitar. Right. I'm a big fan of me sometimes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, Terry said, I thought you had your own signature guitar. I don't. Not really. I mean, we have the RNA Music Limited Edition guitar yeah. we have a limited dealer run guitar but mm -hmm. it's not exactly a signature guitar right yeah and tim says a new guitar makes you play better just saying yeah pretty much yeah i need a boost in the arm about adam, every two months adam short is hello from dublin dublin ireland that's awesome hello adam short uh, Jason Wade said ryan is that a lincoln brewster fender behind you no that's actually that's like a, a parts caster, a buddy of mine built. Uh, he wanted a like a Mary Kay kind of Strat. Mm -hmm. And so he couldn't find one that he liked, and so he basically made one. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey man, it's kind of one of those things that, we have a couple of guitars sometimes here that are consignment guitars. Uh, but he's like, my wife says I need to get rid of some guitars. Would you hang these up at your shop <laughs> and price them exorbitantly high? Yes. <laughs> For like twenty thousand dollars. Sure. <laughs> sure. How much is that? Is that uh, price right? How much is that strat? Yeah, honey. Fifty it is. grand. No one's gonna buy it. I don't know. That's just what the uh, guy wants. You never know. That's, you know. Oh, he has a Nick Johnson Schecter too. Joe, you have a Nick Johnson Schecter. Those That's are cool. cool. I like Nick Johnson. He's yeah, a cool guy. He does. He's very nice. What? I do. I've met him a couple of times. I know. Really nice and guy. And he plays music. I do. I haven't played him lately, though. No, you haven't. I gotta, I don't know where the CD is. Hmm. I found a lot of CDs the other day. Where were they? Inside the in the con In the console of the truck? No. They were inside the buffet. I think that one's in the console. I think my... Uh, is in the, I think it's in the truck somewhere. I don't know. Our CD player in the truck's been acting up. That's the only place I listen to CDs is in our truck when I'm driving. Mm -hmm. But it's been acting weird lately. It doesn't want to read 
and it spits them back out. So something's going on. I mean. uh, all right. Well, I think we have definitely gone over our one hour mark that we gave ourselves because, yeah. oh, crap. Hour and 10 minutes. It's 10 15. It is. Oh, my God. And it's, Lala's tired. It's been a very long couple of days for us. And so we got we to gotta wrap this up because we got a long day, early day tomorrow. Yep. And, uh, but we didn't want to go. We needed to get Ask RNA done. Mm-hmm. You know, normally we do it on Thursdays, like we said, but it's, yeah. it's been hectic. So, and I think the easiest way for us to do this was to do it live. <laughs> Terry said that's why I kept on reminding you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think so. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up, I think. And if you guys, all of you guys who are here in the chat and gals in the chat today, thank you so much for being live with us and chatting with us during the video. Thank yeah. you for all the super chats. You guys are Bless. super amazing. You are helping Blessings. us keep the music alive in our local community, teaching kids and beginners of all ages. You know, so thank you. That actually, believe it or not, that, that stuff goes a long ways. It really does. Mm -hmm. um, so we appreciate that. Now, for next week's Ask RNA, we'll probably be back to a pre-filmed one. Um, probably. Who knows what's going to happen, though. I think we might go live since it is easier for him to catch up on editing. <laughs> it does make editing much easier for me if we do this live. Yeah. So We've struggled a lot in the past to get good camera audio, good mm -hmm. you know, pictures, good audio. You guys, I don't know, how is our voices? Did the mics help? You guys tell us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag past my bedtime. Hashtag past my bedtime. True. Hashtag nighty night. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you guys are watching this on the replay, please ask a question for next week below in the comments section of this video. Yeah. So, um, and we'll try to answer those questions next week. He said tonight was perfect. Whether we go live. Uh, thanks, Terry Starks. Two Terrys. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. All right, so the sound was good. Okay, so I guess awesome. the little, the mics uh, probably helped. I had to buy a special adapter so we could get two labs to go into mm -hmm. the uh, iPhone. I can buy another adapter I just discovered after I bought this adapter yeah. that we could use my VideoMic Pro boom mic, which would work great, but I can buy, got to buy another adapter. Right, <laughs> right, right. Uh, all the adapters. So all the adapters. We, whether we read the questions next week, you know, we do it. We do it live, or we do it pre-filmed. Whichever one. Ask yeah. your questions in this in the description, not the description, in the comment section. Sure, sure. Whatever. It's yes. late. Uh, yeah. Ask the questions in the comments below. We'll try to answer those. If you're interested in an Arnie Music T-shirt, which this is not, this is, uh, is this? this is an Asgardian T-shirt. I don't think you can get it yeah. anywhere. Um, but if you want an RNA Music T-shirt, we'll have a link to our Teespring store down below. Our new RNA Music Force. Tea. It's not new. It's a reissue yeah, of an reissue. old limited edition T-shirt of ours. Mm -hmm. If you hate Disney or love Disney, I don't know. If you love us, yeah, then you and you know us and how nerdy we are. If you love Support the Empire Strikes getting, Back, yeah, <laughs> you should go get the new RNA Music, the new old RNA Music yeah, Force Tea reissued. Link in the description tea. below when we get when I get all that stuff typed out. Probably tomorrow. Eventually, the link will be in the description below. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you, guys. Tim got his. Oh, Yay. awesome. Thank you, Tim. That's rad. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video. I've got a bunch coming as soon as I get time to edit them all together. Video, There's yes. some cool you know, CMG videos coming. There's a, uh, a Ernie Ball Music Man guitar video coming. There's some Saturday vlogs. There's... there's Six months of Saturday vlogs coming. <laughs> I'm up to July 13th. I know. I'm proud of you. I just released July 13th Saturday vlog yes. two days ago. So eventually we'll get caught up on the vlogs. But um. <laughs> oh yes, thanks, Terry. Yeah. Thank <sighs> you. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, we we do need to have a secret hashtag of the day though. So yes. for everyone next week. So if you watched on the replay, if you watched this whole stinking thing, you guys are super awesome. Or if you were in the live chat today watching it live, the whole thing, you guys are super super awesome. But uh, we're gonna have what's our secret hashtag of the day? If you type that below in a comment, we'll know that you watched this whole stinking, you know, seventy-four minute video. Yes. Uh, what should it be? Busy lollies. 
Hashtag busy lollies. Yes. <laughs> B-U-S-Y-L-A-W-L-E-Y-S. Yes. <laughs> I am the law. Hashtag busy lollies. That will be uh, the secret hashtag of the day. Mm -hmm. You can check that out. I'll type it right now. Hashtag busy. L-A-W-L-E-Y-S. Uh. Jason hey. Wade already got it. Jason, you're the first legend of the night. <laughs> Honor system. Yes. <laughs> Tim, you're a legend already. Yeah. You need to come see us sometime, Tim. Yeah. Next time you're driving past Canton, let us know, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you guys so much we will see y'all in the next video until then keep the music alive don't forget it the music needs you and you need the music and we need to keep it alive for the next generation and all yeah. generations all them all them their generations Who's, oh my lord i'm yeah. getting chats on my yeah don't worry about it yeah all right and we'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm. thanks so much momentary momentary Laps while I go hit the button on the camera. How do I turn this off? Oh man. <laughs> Ugh. I'm shaking. It's like an earthquake. Where did it go? It's an earthquake. Keep going. Are you sure you want to stop? Uh.